Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Tutorial Sultan. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your iPhones or your Android's camera as your webcam for your PC or your Mac. Mainly, this is for Zoom call or online streaming where you want to move your camera around or create a second camera angle to make it more interesting. If you enjoy the content and find it valuable, make sure to subscribe to the channel for future content like this and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything in the future. Without further ado, let's get into it. In order to achieve these results, we need an app on your iOS or Android device called the EpoCam. So just come to Apple Store or Google Play. You want to type EpoCam. There is a free version versus the paid version. In this case, we're going to start off with a free version. And I'm going to show you guys the difference between the free and the pro versions. Just click on the first one, download it to your phone. First page says, welcome to EpoCam. And you're going to click on begin. So for the setup wise, by the way, this phone can actually be stationary with a mount like on a table or something or you can actually move it around as you want and I click on begin I click on the first option which is airdrop to your Mac so what I got is a zip file airdrop to my download folder and now I'm going to double click on it unzip it and you're going to see the installation file I'm gonna choose continue continue and click on I agree we're going to install it to our native drive and click on continue and install just enter your password click on install software solution success close on it move to trash once you install the drive on your Mac I'm gonna click on next and now we're going to connect our phone to our laptop through Wi-Fi most importantly make sure you are on the same network between your computer and your phone I'm gonna click on next and I'm gonna allow a few access which is camera access and network access once you give two permission click on done you can see that's my keyboard right there and it's connecting to my computer and you can see it has success fully connected to my computer right now I'm going to open my zoom and this is basically how it looks with my native camera on my zoom calls if I click on command comma and now I can come to my settings and then come to video and you can see I can switch between camera besides the native camera on my laptop which is pretty good but not ideal I have the third option here says epoch cam I'm gonna click on it that is the view in front of me and now we're going to the feature of this app and then we're gonna do some comparison between the pro version and the free version why this is so helpful is sometimes I get asked about my setup I was able to quickly pull out my iPhone and connect the camera to my laptop and basically show people this way you see what I mean and obviously the second method is you can create a second top-down shot so currently we're on the free version if you want to have a few more feature unlocked I recommend to buy this plugin for only seven dollars and 99 cents it's pretty affordable in terms of the features you get to have the first feature is you can remove the epoch cam watermark that way you don't have the watermark showing on your computer all the whole time as you can see here on my laptop it's showing the logo and second one is right now I believe this is 720p if you want to have a 1080p and that's on a pro version as well and third one is obviously utilizing your camera I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max so that means I can have the wide angle if I want to or have the zoom lens if I want to switch them and the third one obviously is choosing the internet you can have a wired method or you can have wireless method which is on Wi-Fi Move on to the next one you can have a microphone from your iphone or android i probably won't use this feature a lot flashlight i'm not going to use that a lot if you have a really good camera that allows hdr and then you can totally utilize this feature to get the best out of the color from your ios or android devices and last but not least you can have a manual focus if you want to so it doesn't shift around with the focus and now i'm going to click on buy now it's going to direct me to the pro version i'm from canada so i'm paying actually $11 for this app I'm gonna double click on it so I just pay this app and I'm gonna click on open this is exactly similar to the free version except this is pro version that has features unlocked allow microphone access and allow network access and then once I'm done with that click on done and right now you can see that my camera on my laptop 
is 1080p is no longer 720p so it has a little bit more quality to it so let's try this version number one this is 1x okay and then if i click on it one more time it's going to be 2.5x if i click it one more time this is utilizing the wide angle lens on my camera if i click it one more time and then it's going to switch back to 1x and now i can mirror the image like this so it can mirror left and right and let's put it back to normal and then i can switch between front camera or the back camera just like this if I click on the third one that's enabling and disabling the mic through Apple cam and now if I click on top right corner we have a starter guide and setup guide and some troubleshoot and if I click on the wheel icon on top now we can switch between Wi-Fi USB and now quality you can do the best or we can do fair depends on your bandwidth I would say your internet speed if you have really good bandwidth why not just use the best you know Here's my final thought on this app. I think it's totally worth it, even the free version. You never know, right? Sometimes you have a mounted camera like I do, and if you want to show around, you have to actually go unmount the camera, and it's really complicated. And secondary is sometimes you just want to do a live stream, you want to switch between angles, and you have a few phones around, and you can actually create a multi-cam environment. So that's pretty cool. And my last recommendation is to actually have some sort of a tripod or a table mount where you can actually stabilize your phone so your camera footage won't be too shaky and last but not least if you want to use this app for your main camera make sure you turn off your 3g or 4g signals so you don't have any phone call randomly come in and interrupt your zoom call or your live stream and the link of this app is in the description you guys can go ahead and check it out make sure to subscribe to the channel if you find this video really valuable and give it a like and drop some comments below so YouTube algorithm can recommend this video to more and more people out there this is Toriel Sultan signing out. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Cheers.